Hello, Team Emerald! Cass Lee here. Make sure, um, as you're clicking on, let me know you're here by either um, dropping like a heart or a like or a comment. Um, because I know lately it hasn't been showing comments when we go live. So it's kind of been... Um, after I'm, you know, done the live video, I've noticed that at the end there's tons of comments that I wasn't able to see. So please, even, um, even as you guys pump on, click on here, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to make sure the comment thing's intact. So hopefully I am catching some of you. I know it is late in the UK right now, so I hope I am catching some of Region 3 and Region 1 from Team Emerald on. I see um, I'm a couple minutes early, but I wanted to click on and make sure I was on in time for you guys. So we have one viewer. I'm going to probably two get started anyways because there is going to be lots of people re-watching this later. So this way there's not too much um, hesitation at the beginning. First of all, I have to say you guys have two amazing leaders, very good friends of mine and my husband's. Um, we help each other's teams out quite a bit. Hi, Danica. Um, so perfect. I can see comments, so that's good because sometimes the comments aren't showing up um, until after. And you guys are so lucky you have two rock star leaders leading your way, two of um, probably, you know, top recruiters in the company teaching you guys. So it's an honor for me to be in here just to begin with, to be able to giving, you know, be giving you guys any recruiting tips is awesome. So I did make some notes, so I'm going to be looking down um, sporadically. I am from Canada, if you guys do not know, a very little small town called Amherstburg, Ontario. Um, before Amherstburg, we lived in Essex. Uh, again, very small town. So if you hear the, I can't recruit from your teammates, I live in a small town. Hi guys, hi Trish, hi Carly, hi Bianca. Um, know that that can be excuse busted. We're from a small town. Facebook is your number one, hi Tracy, your number one place you can be recruiting. So there are some things to watch for when you're recruiting on Facebook um, to reach out to people. I'm always scrolling looking for status updates. So I'm constantly looking for people that are talking about not liking their job, um, people who have talked about starting their own business or looking for extra income, trying to save for a wedding, um, a house, a car, loads of different reasons, and I always inbox them. So they might not necessarily like your Sensi posts. Um, they may not even ask about joining. And you can just inbox these people. Um, of course, they're your Facebook friends, right? And you can say something like, hey, Sarah, I noticed your Facebook post. I wanted to reach out to you. I saw that you were trying to save for a car, a house, a wedding. Um, I saw that you don't like your job. I saw that you were looking for extra. Whatever has brought you to their inbox, you need to begin with that. And leave it very simple. Don't just shoot them, you know, your join link or loads of info. You're going to want to say something like, did you want to hear more? Would you like more information about what I do? Um, have you ever thought about joining Sensi? And let them engage you back before you go any further. So that's definitely my number one um, recruiting tool for myself for Facebook is I'm always watching status updates. If you do not have a business page, you need to invest in a business page. That is huge. I'm boosting posts in that. If you want to look me up, you can feel free to look up um, independent uh, superstar director Cassilia Salidas and follow my business page just simply if you just want to snag ideas. Feel free. Of course, replace your link with mine. Um, before you're posting, but just to give you some idea of things that I am boosting and having good outcome on. Uh, so Facebook is your number one tool. You're going to watch for those updates. If you're just clicking on, try to rewatch this for that beginning. Um, it's going to be tough because we'll have people clicking on even rewatching this tomorrow. So live videos are huge. You guys probably already know. Sorry, they're like, I had to put this lamp here so it's really awkward with my eyes now because I'm in like my office and it wasn't bright enough. So don't mind me. I keep rubbing my eyes because it's just it's really bothering me right in my face, but it was the only way I'd get enough lighting um, and quiet. I have three kids, so I'm kind of hiding in here. So live video is huge. If you're not doing live video, live video needs to be where it's at. You see Scott and Alexandria doing live video. It's huge. Um, I do it a lot on my own homepage, but I'm also doing it in a thinking of joining group. So if you guys are going, what is the thinking of joining group? I'm sure you got the gist of what that is. 
don't just slam people in there. Make sure you're asking ahead of time. You know, thinking of joining a group is a great place to bring together like-minded people that have been thinking about joining but are not sure. Um, so let me just give you a little a cap on what my thinking of joining group is. It's maybe once to maybe max twice a day do I post in there, if not every other day sometimes. And sometimes it's about the compensation plan. Sometimes it's about current promos. It's inspirational um, uh, quotes about uh, fear and overcoming it and taking the leap of faith. You can search any sort of quote you want. Also steal off my page, Scott's page. They post lots of amazing stuff too. And use those quotes in those pages. Um, search things like scared, afraid, leap of faith, uh, starting a new business, um, entrepreneurship, and look up quotes. You will find loads. Follow some people on Instagram. They're inspirational. Again, look up motivation, coach, mentor, entrepreneurship. Um, anything really you want to get a quote on, you can type that into Google and click images and you'll get loads of stuff. So your thinking of joining group needs to be there. What I do um, when people join is I do post in there and I'll say something like, um, everybody say bye to Wendy. She's now joining our team page. That's the page where we make money. Who's next? And a lot of people will say, you know, bye Wendy. Okay, take care. Whatever. They'll like the post. They just might not be ready right then. Does not mean that, you know, the no is a, a strict no. It just means like a no, not right now. So they could come around eventually. Leave them in there. Again, you're going to ask them when people show interest in joining or have thought about it or, you know, liking a lot of your posts. You can inbox them with something as easy as, Hey, I see you always liking my posts. Are you thinking about joining? Because you know what? I have a great group that I can add you to. I just wanted to check in with you first. I don't want to just put you in there. Um, I feel like adding people to groups without asking them is the equivalency to driving around your neighborhood um, and, and kidnapping girls and throwing them in the back of your van and then bringing them to a park and just unloading them all into this area where they're like, how did I get here? Why am I here? What is this? It's not a good feeling. I leave groups instantly when I'm at it. I don't care what they're selling. I don't even care if I want to buy what they're selling. I leave it. I hate that feeling. Do not do that. That is like honestly um, kidnapping somebody. They are not going to appreciate it. So just, you know, to my customers, I just shoot them a little friendly. Even when they order the very first time, I will say to them, Hey girl, so now you're officially one of my customers, you know, laugh out loud. Would you like to be in my customer VIP page? Again, you're probably not, you know, because you're not allowed to post um, deals and whatnot in there. But they don't know what we're allowed, not allowed to do in the sense that you can say, you know, because really you could be talking about Sensi promos. You can say, my customer VIP page is so cool. I always am posting different promotions going on in there. Um, I have, you know, you can... This is a great way for you to touch base with me. You're never going to miss what's going on. My customer VIP page is the place to be. Now, it could be Sensi Promotions, but guess what? You can still get them excited about your own promotions, whether in there or in your own Facebook. I saw someone put a sad face. Do not be sad. Um, and you can say something like, I am running the most amazing personal special right now, but you know what? It's so good. You've got to inbox me. Now that's going in your customer group. That means all your customers are seeing it. It's not some Facebook says that's just going to get, you know, flipped on by, or it's going to go on some people's homepages. They didn't log in at that time and they never saw it. In your customer group, it is giving them a notification. So if you do not have a customer group and the thinking of joining group, you need three pages you need. A thinking of joining group. Um, reason being is you've built these connections, they're thinking of joining, they need that extra group, you know, the little extra push. Um, a business page so that you can boost posts, you can be posting on there and meeting new people. This is to get new people to your own page, to get them into your thinking and joining group, to get new customers, you need that business page. Now a customer VIP page is totally different. These are your friends, family, and already client, clients and customers that are starting to buy off you. They get in this customer page. You know, to me, I feel like they start from my business page. They become my customers. They get into my customer page. Then buy about one, two times of them shopping. I'm then planting seeds about joining. And I'm saying, you know, you should think about joining because you're shopping already. You could be making this extra income with yourself. And then they make their way to my Think of Joining group, and then it's just um, like step by step, they get into my team page. So 
uh, if you're posting in your Think of Joining group and you have, you know, your your website, your join link up there enough, people might just surprise you. I had, today my cousin just joined out of nowhere. I hadn't even been talking to her about joining, period. She just saw my post on Facebook and joined. This is kind of what happens a lot in the Think of Joining group. Just one day they're like, you know what, that's it. I'm jumping. I'm doing it right now. They don't even tell you. You get that email. It's amazing. Um, you'll touch base with them which I'm sure there'll be lots of posts in here on that and, and keeping, you know, newbies on what they should, newbies should be doing at the beginning. So that's really important. Um, so another thing I wrote down is posting perks of being a consultant. And if you're too new, you're not too new to share other people's stories. Take your amazing SSDs, for example, share their stories, share, you know, how they moved from Ireland to Spain share that they're working from the beach, share that they're able to be home with their little one. There's lots of stories you can share. If you're unfamiliar with other leaders and their stories, go to YouTube, type in Sensi, you know, Superstar Director, type in Sensi Director, or even My Why or Sensi Stories Galore. You'll find tons of stories. So when I joined in 2013, um, I had attended a, a, a reunion at the time. I didn't know what a reunion convention was. No idea. I heard Megan Clemens speak. I'm sure lots of you know who she is. Um, and I got totally inspired. I went home. I told her story to everybody. Within 48 hours, I recruited nine people. I don't think I've ever done that again. And I, I honestly believe it was because of what she was saying it made me believe. So here she was up on stage talking, you know, she was Canadian, she was in her 30s, she has three kids, she was telling her story, and I looked at my husband, well, many people around us looked, um, you know, and chattered among each other, I had said, man, if she can do this, I can do this. And I said to my SSD, you know, I'm going to hit director by September. I want director bad. I'm going to do this. You know, and she said, oh, you know, yeah, Cass, build your team. You know, you have a team and I'm probably, you know, within the end of the year for sure. And I'm like, no, like I told you, I'm going to do it for September. And she kind of just laughed because she didn't believe me. Um, I was so inspired <clears throat> from her union. I went home. I recruited nine people in 48 hours. I was just telling this story left and right, the same story. You know, she was a city hall worker. He was a lawyer. They, you know, went from both working full time to being retired. You know, their sensi business did this. And I just told their story to everybody that would listen. I was literally shouting on my Facebook. It was lots of, we didn't have live then. So it was lots of like big cap letters telling it, sharing their link on YouTube, you know, sharing their stories, their whys and whatnot. But really, it was just what it did to me. It made me believe it was possible. Now, when I signed four years ago, there was more, more consultants than there is right now. So there is less consultants than there is when I joined four years ago. And uh, we've built a team of over a 1,000 people now, I think roughly 13, 1,300. Um, and, and it was all because I believed, and it was all because I took action, and I knew what I could do. So I do want to go over a couple stats with you guys because I know where you guys are area-wise. So um, first we'll do Canada, just since we do have some Region 1 peeps on. So there is only approximately 15,000 consultants in all of Canada. That's of 35 million people, and that's 0.04%. So there is a huge growth that can be happening in Canada. If you're not focused on Region 1, you need to be focused on Region 1. Canadians are awesome, as you can see. We love to share our ideas um, with everybody. We don't care if you're on our team or not. We're super friendly. So if you do not have Canadian friends on your Facebook, you need to change that. So get some Canadians. Now, the UK only has 35,000 people of 65 million um, a population. That's insane. I like even looking at that, I'm just like blown away. That is one fourth of the amount we have. And in the UK, there are double that's double the population of what we have. So that is nuts. I want to say the percent is like 0, 0.0. My math is horrible. Zero, zero, two, something like that. I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. My math is way off, but it's definitely like one tenth of a percent as consultants. So that is a huge range of homes that are unscented. You guys can totally get on that. I know there's lots of region, um, two peeps in this group. Now for Australia, there's only 5,000 consultants of 24 million people. So again, I don't have the exact math. I'm horrible in math, but just think of the huge opportunity you have right now. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have Avon where you are. Do you? Give me like a little <clears throat> like or like comment below. <clears throat> Anybody? No, Avon? No, you guys never even heard of it? Maybe. 
<laughs> okay, so no one's telling me. Yeah, does that mean yeah? <clears throat> you know what Avon is? Okay, so <clears throat> Avon, I don't know what's with my throat all of a sudden. I usually can talk forever. Avon is a company that started 110 years ago, if not a little bit more now. I think it was 110 when I started Sensi. And the reason why I use it as a good example is because... Avon is still going right now at a 110-year-old company, you know, probably about 150 now. And now imagine, Sensi is what in your guys' countries? Five years less than that? New Zealand, two years old? Um, the UK, what, five, six years? Now imagine somebody's grandma, probably now, a 100 years ago, saying, well, man, this company's already been around for like five years now, seven years now, maybe I shouldn't stay in it because it's probably, you know, people are going to get sick of all this Avon and they're not going to buy Avon. I'm not going to be able to make a business of this. And now a hundred years later, grandma that stuck in it has made, you know, an amazing business, probably retired at a super young age, was driving whatever cool car um, there was a hundred years ago. I don't know. And she left this amazing company to her kids that continued on her legacy. And now imagine grandma who made the excuse of, well, there's like a few other hundred consultants in my area. So like, I'm probably not going to be able to do it. This company's going to fizzle out. I'm not, you know, going to take it anywhere. Now, a hundred years later, I promise you those two grandmas have lived a very different life based on their positive attitude to negative attitude. So if you're going to assume the cup is, you know, not full enough for everybody to drink from or I don't know, I mixed two sayings up there. But if you're going to assume the worst and just go, well, I'm not going to be able to because other people are succeeding... Trust me, do not assume that. Assume quite the opposite. You're stronger with these people. You can work together. You have great ideas. Whether you're in these areas with each other, have a little sit down, meetups, make friends. These are your, you know, friends. These are not your enemies. Um, take, you know, a lot of us leaders that are friends, for example, we are so much stronger together. Um, look, I'm in your guys' team page doing a call and Scott yesterday, or was it this morning? It's been a long day. Was in my UK team page doing a team call. And what's really cool about doing that is I feel like him talking to my UK peeps is awesome because I jokingly say he speaks their language, but they're hearing and seeing from someone on their side of the pond, not some Canadian that's going, oh yeah, it can be great for you guys, you know? So there is a huge opportunity. Some other stats are super um, shocking. Uh, for New Zealand, there's only 500 consultants approximately and a 4 million population. So there's huge growth to happen still in New Zealand. I'm sure people are coming and going constantly, but it's the people that are staying and working and putting in the time and building their business that are actually uh, persevering and taking off. So it is very important that you stick with it. And even little growth every month over and small goals met are way better you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Your business isn't going to be either. I tell my team that all the time. You're not going to be Bill Gates rich in a few weeks. You're just not. It's not the lottery. You do have to put your work and your time in. Now, Spain, 40 people are consultants in Spain. And I'm sure a few of them are in here. And that's of 24 million people. So there is a huge, and again, if you're not in Spain, that doesn't matter. You have Facebook. Facebook is the source to everybody in this world. So it's huge that you're utilizing it. Boost some posts, you know, uh, target them to certain areas that you want to recruit in and, and get some new people on your page. And then they become your audience. So I don't know if any of you in here, I'm sure there is um, from Ireland. I'm sure of the 100 consultants in our company in Ireland, I'm sure at least a handful are in here, right? That's a 4 million people in Ireland. So that's a huge, you know, network of people you have in your local area that you can be reaching out to. So um, some other ideas I had wrote down, let's see, because I'm... This is what it looks like. Do you guys want to laugh? This is what I did. Sitting down, writing notes. Once I knew I was going to be on Scott's call. It's literally an envelope. I only write when I have um, ideas fresh in my brain. I couldn't have sat and, and, you know, prepared for this an hour before this call. I have to just write as soon as I think of things. So... I don't know if you guys are doing events. Events are huge for recruiting. I know it's funny to see, right? And like I just write these really crazy little notes that look like this. I know what it means. No one else were to ever open this book. It's like a football cheat sheet. I don't think it would make sense to pretty much anybody. Um, if you're not doing events in your area, you need to be doing events. They're huge for recruiting, huge. So um, events, I don't know about over the pond, but for us, they happen at places like churches, retirement homes, schools, um, clubs, and I don't mean like party clubs, I mean like Italian, um, I don't know if you guys have these sort of clubs over there, do you have like Ireland 
pub clubs kind of thing where they have like different events or um, like uh, fundraising things happening. So that's what we have at ours. That's another place. Um, and just asking, I think you guys call them stalls from what I hear from my UK. Is that what they're called? Stalls for events, um, sales days, parties. I don't know your guys' exact. Oh my God, don't tell me my phone's going to die right now. Let me see that. I've got some charge left. Hold on. It's going like it's going to die. Why isn't the charge coming on? Bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so one second. Let me get my charger, you guys. Don't go anywhere. One sec. to full before I started and somehow I don't know I need a new phone is what I'm saying hold on so stay with me stay with me okay let me make sure it's charging I don't even know if it's charging okay it's not gonna tell me I hope it doesn't die on you guys hold on. okay so um so events are huge for us here when you're booking these events, you know, you're going to want, sorry, I'm all out of breath. That's pretty sad. Um, you're going to want to be asking about, um, like, how may, how long have they had these events? Do they want you to advertise online? Of course, that's a huge thing. We are doing events everywhere throughout Canada and the U.S. even. And I'm sure some of my peeps in the U.K. are too. And setting up for the day, I don't know your exact rules on compliance, so I'm not going to get into that. Follow your standards. I know your guys' is, is a little bit different. Still, I think you guys are on the old standards. So follow your standards, of course. Retirement homes, I have made so many connections from people that work there. So if you have retirement homes, you know, go in, reach out. Those are not going to be advertised events on Facebook. You're just not going to find them on Facebook. So go in. If we have Region 1 peeps, you probably are doing this. I don't know exactly... Um, where your guys' stalls are held. So if they're in malls and stuff like that, of course, be careful and, and follow your standards on that. But if it's in like a day um, place where there's not um, items sold, then you can sell stock and all that jazz. So really great because you get to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. It's not just a home party. They're coming up to your table interested. They want to hear what you're doing. You can give them, you know, join packets or whatever you want to leave them with to call you or contact you, add you to Facebook. There's lots of, I call these bring backs. There's lots of ways to bring back people to you. You just have to utilize them. So one thing we've been doing in our team page, it's working amazing right now for just even new customers. And again, that's partially what you want to do to get new recruits is we slip these little um, coupons into everybody's order that says get $5 off your next order if you post your order on Facebook and tag me. So a lot of my teammates are saying, oh my God, all these people are liking this. What do I do after that? I just add the people that like it. And if they say, oh, you know, who are you? And I say, oh, I saw you liked Carol's post and I just wanted to add you in case you ever need anything from Sensi. So now you have all these new people that are liking your customers' posts. And just think about this. If 10, 10 people do the coupon thing of your customers, now 10 people do it. They have a 500 minimum, probably, I don't know, 300 minimum, let's say, people on their page. And they, that means that's 10, 10 pages, 10 different customers' pages that are three to 500 to 1,000 people are seeing your post. So I had one girl um, on our team tell me that she had got two people possibly interested all because they saw the beautiful warmer. You know, this is basically back to basics, really. And um, she had gotten, what, like four orders, and it was within like the first hour people were starting to tag her in these posts. Like everybody wants to save some money. It's five bucks. You know, you can use your free and half price stuff to offer these deals. So don't think you're going to be out money. Um, there's lots of ways doing it. And, and that's going to get you new, uh, we call audience. A new audience is important when you're trying to recruit because um, sometimes just new people just come on. They're like, I just want to join. Where's, what's your link? You know, it does happen when you get new people. Whereas people that are sitting and wondering about it for too long are not going to, sometimes they just go cold and they're never going to join really, but we kind of keep hope. So again, don't shrug off those. It could happen, but that's why you need new people and new excitement all the time on your page. 
So, um, okay, so I have written down asking everyone who shops share perks, um, the compensation plan, free stuff, trips to earn. So obviously you guys are probably already doing that. Sharing that selling is really important if you're on your page. You're just posting loads of flyers all the time. Stop that. Nobody wants to see all those flyers. You know, here or there so people know what you're selling. I, I do post flyers too. But get yourself into it. You know, post yourself doing something with the counter clean. Oh, wait, do you guys even, I'm sorry, region one if you have counter clean. I don't know if you guys have it in region two and three. I'm so oblivious to the different items right now. So, um, but whatever it is, whether it's um, the laundry stuff, post your before and afters of your laundry. And, and people, I promise you, these are things that are not even necessarily about joining. And people show interest because they go, wow, this is a really great product. I honestly joined because it was a really great product. That's it. Um, oh, you do? Okay. Yay. Good. Because I felt like, I feel like I'm teasing when I say something and then you don't have it. Um or at least to my team that happens. So, and, and post with your kids doing the orders with you and say, you know, you see Scott and Alexandra do it all the time. Say things like, this is such a great business because my kids can help me. I promise you uh, probably about 30% of the people that are scared to join are because they have kids. I hear a lot, well, I have kids. I'm too busy. I have three kids. I have four kids. And I always say, guess what? I have a director in the UK that has six kids, Amanda Clark. She's amazing. Um, she is a great leader, and she's an awesome mom, and she gets to be home full time. And they go, oh, my God, she has six kids. Well, I have two, and, like, I'm pretty busy. And I say, yeah, but those kids can help you. Now, instead of playing Barbies at night, you get to make samples, and you get to do something productive, and you get to show your kids that mom can be more than just a mom, right? So that's really important that you include your kids into it. Of course, if you're earning trips or other people are earning trips and you're still too new, talk about them earning those trips. That's a huge selling point. Bragging rights. Some people join this company just to want to earn trips. So talk about the whole work when you want. You know, bring up the thinking of joining groups to these people that are asking questions. It's All these things are important. So what I tell my team a lot, sorry guys, because I'm trying to uh, keep this cord plugged in. I'm just hoping my phone doesn't die. What I tell my team a lot is instead, Sensi always says buy, host, join. So they want you to get someone to buy if they like it. Maybe get them to, you know, host a party. And then if that goes well, try to flip them to join. No. Do it completely backwards. Sensi's got it backwards on that. I don't want someone to buy first, then to host, then to join. No. no. When someone comes to me and wants to buy something, I always try to recruit them. I always say, well, this order is $68, and you know what? For an extra 50 whatever it is, when I do the math, I say, you could just join. And the kit is so amazing. It's a way more than like four times what you're paying. You might as well just join. Now, the, they'll come back. Be ready. They're going to come back with something. You've got to be ready for this. You, you can't just sit back and go, okay, they're probably going to say no. Okay, then I'll just say, okay, what's your order? No, you've got to be ready to excuse bust them. They're going to come back with, I don't have the money right now. You've got to have an excuse bus for that. You're going to say, I bet you have some old things laying around in your basement. Um, you have like an old table or a purse or, um, you know, anything that you can change, you know, you can sell and then that can turn to extra income to join. And then they'll, they'll more than likely say, yeah, you're probably right. Okay, well, let me think about that. And I'll say, okay, yeah, no problem. You already were going to place this $68 order for the extra $50, honestly. And I always say it, be a kidnapper. Be a kidnapper. Steal that kit. And if you decide to do something with it, you've got three months to make that decision. That's up to you. But this kit is amazing. And, and most of the time, my customer that was about to give me this order is like, well, what comes in the kit? And then I've got a picture ready. I'm like, this is what, this is my, you know what? And it's a real picture. It's not a flyer. And I say, this is what my friend just got when she joined. It's amazing. Look at everything. You know, she took this picture for me because I just love to show you guys how much stuff comes in it. And then I go over the breakdown of what the value is. Now, if all that doesn't work, they fit you with the, I don't have the money. I don't know people. The, I don't know people is easy to excuse bust too. You know, if there's anything you want help excuse busting, ask me, Scott, Alexandra, any of us, you know, some other people on this team page are good with excuse busting. There's loads of ways to excuse bust. So they say, I don't know enough people. I hear this all the time. And I say, but oh my God, do you think when restaurants open, they know people that are going to eat there? They don't. They just, if you build it, they will come. And I say, what if I could show you how to be successful with not knowing one person to sell to? None of your family and friends want to buy from you, and I'm still going to show you how to make money. And then they go, oh, really? 
And then I hit them with the places to leave catalogs. There's a flyer going around that says like 65 places. I think it's 65 or even more. I have one here that's I think 60, 42 ways to find customers. No way. I think it's 65. Anyway, it's not important. A whole load of way to, uh, yeah, 65 places to leave your Scentsy catalog. And then I hit them with that and I go, look at this. You can be leaving your catalog at all these places. And I promise you I'm in places like this all the time and there's not catalogs there. People are just not working their business the way they should be. There's not, in dentist's office, and doctor's office, very rarely do I walk into any hair salon, nail salon, anything and see catalogs, you know, so you could be doing this as a new consultant. I think everybody does it when they're new and they just don't keep doing it. Um, if they don't get anything from it, they give up, which is unfortunate because usually it takes time for anything to stick. People might look at it once or twice and then be there again and um, go, oh, you know what? Oh, this girl has another car. I'm going to call her this time. I want some. It literally took me like four times when I was getting uh, Avon catalog in my mailbox to finally order from her. I was looking. I was picking stuff. And the fourth time, I was like, that's it. Now I'm ordering. I love that this girl's persistent. They say it takes, I think, someone 8 to 12 times to even be approached to buy some. It's like the magic happens after that 8th time, but by then, very few people are left that haven't given up. I have, a, I, it's, That's honestly a true fact. I have the picture for that somewhere. So, so the join first is very important. If you cannot get them to join, then work at the host. Now, so they say all those things, and they say, well, I don't know, and I'm not a salesperson. I don't think it would go well, and I don't know enough people. And I say, you know what? You're right. Why don't we just have you host a party? And then they go, well, um, well, like, who would I invite? And I say, don't worry, we'll set you up an event page. I can help you go through your friends list. Let's invite, you know, even 10, maybe mom, an aunt, a couple friends, a few coworkers. Now I've got this list, um, the creating list of 100, and on it has your at-work people, your neighborhood, your service, your professional, school contacts, um, anyone you're affiliated with, religious-wise, sports organizations, social acquaintance, salespeople, places you go, places that you're in and out of banks, bakery, all this jazz. And I say, that's literally, you know, a magical way to sit down and go, I'm going to invite two from each one of those. And you've got a party put together. And then they'll say, and I'll say, and if your party goes really good, we really should revisit the join. You really should consider to join. Now, again, I'm doing the join first, and then I'm getting them to host. Worst case, very worst case, take that order. Now, that's your third option, though. I don't want someone to inbox you and say, hey, um, let's use Danica. Hey, Danica, I would like a six-pack of this, and I will take this, and then I want um, the Tilly warmer, and can you shoot me a total? And you just say, okay, yeah, sure, girl. I'll uh, be right back with your total. No, that's not what you're going to say. You're going to write back and go, oh, my God, if you're getting all this, why don't you join? Because you can make commission off this. And that is, you know, the kit alone is worth more. You're going to spend probably more in this order or about the same as the kit. And with the kit, you get every single cent. You get to smell them all. I only joined for that those testers. That's it. I was like, I want to smell them all. I don't want to guess off a list of, um, you know, describing what a scent smells like. Like, that doesn't do it for me. I want to smell them, and I want to fall in love with stuff, and then I want to order. And that's why I joined. That was the only reason I joined. Um, I had a fashion business when I joined Scentsy. I literally joined to those testers. I just kind of wanted to buy for myself. I was like, oh, cool, I can get a 20% discount too, earn some free and a half price stuff, see where it takes me. And then as soon as I joined, Scentsy has these little, you know, programs set up that really make you want to succeed because you're like just competitive and you're just like I want to hit you know shooting star and like if I don't get shooting star I want like level one two or three so like I'm going to work to get those so I can get that free stuff and it wasn't even about building my business or having things be you know successful for the long run it wasn't for me it was just the competitive edge of hitting and achieving and doing something that I don't know, very, you know, when I'm looking at statistics, very few people were hitting level three. I want to hit level three. That was it. It was just like a win thing for me. And that was what made it, you know, me want to, I, I didn't know about shooting star. I wasn't paying attention at the beginning. Then when I heard about sensational star, I was like, I am not resting. So I hit that level three. So, and I did, and I was literally just asking everybody. I was like, I'm on my fifth person. I just need one more person who wants to join my business, you know, and people were responding. It was so surprising. I want you to try something. I want you to go to your page tonight and I want you to make a status that says February is almost over and I need two more people to join my business just to take a picture of yourself with the two up you know take a funny cartoon picture if you want if you don't want to do it yourself go online um, google an image that says peace or two or funny cartoon guy putting up 
two fingers, whatever way you want to get this picture, and post it. And I want your status to just say as simple as that, I am looking or I need two more people join my business this month. The month is almost over. It's an amazing kit. Who's in? You know, that's it. As basic as that, I want that to be your status today. Um, you can, you know, tag Scott and Alexandria if you like. Uh, you guys can add me after this call if you want, and I'll give your post some likes too. So it is, it's really important. Recruiting is so important for your business. I can't stress this enough. You need to be asking. You need to be asking everybody, every order, every person you talk sensey with, every family member you're talking to, and you need to be super excited. You need to say things like, this business is booming. It is huge in Canada and the U.S. You know, it's just getting kind of warmed up in the UK and New Zealand and Australia where all you awesome people are from Ireland Spain all these places and say and use my statistics you know and if you ask Scott he can give you the exact breakdown of how many people in each place and use these statistics to your advantage post up oh my goodness there is only you know 3,500 people in all of the UK that saw Sensi of 65 million people that is obscene low it's not even like point percent it's not even like half a percent it's like it's like a half a half a percent of people so in Canada even with what we have that's like one consultant per like thousand homes and I have like 30 customers I have like 30 regular customers it's not an obscene amount and I still pull over 2,000 PRV every single month so um, with that being said it's not like you need I think I have a customer base of like maybe 95 to 99 people but really about 30 probably shop with me um, every month or every other month and then I'd want to say the other ones are like Christmas time and and the big sales and whatnot, but they still keep in touch. I still send them samples. You know, every once in a while they need a gift. So if you're able to even build, a, and and of course a lot of these customers I'm pushing over the fence. Um, I think we have about 130 five front line or so so and I think the most I've ever had is like about 150 something so I'm still trying to keep within the recruiting um my first year with Sensi I knew nothing we recruited 85 people personally recruited um when I hit annual mentor I remember people saying it was so hard to hit and they were really struggling and I kind of thought well that was weird I like I think I hit it like a few months of being a consultant I didn't even know I had hit it my SSD was writing me telling me um how awesome it was and I I wasn't trying to hit any um any even marks or anything I was just like man this company is amazing I just want to bring everybody into it and I was really just wanting to help people certify so they could get a 5% raise it wasn't so that I could hit annual mentor I didn't even know what an annual mentor was um, so since then we've you know we always hit the annual mentor and a annual sales every single year we've hit it since we began of course recruiting sometimes can be harder year over year as you grow a team because your focus a little bit changes and shifts from not that you shouldn't still be recruiting, you really should be, but your time becomes spent building the people that you've brought in because you obviously do not want to let them down. So that becomes a big goal of mine to get, you know, more people to director and gang, more people to start consultant. Um, if you're not focusing on the compensation plan and you're just kind of floating through this, you really do need to sit down and understand the compensation plan because you could be missing out on money every month. You could be just not hitting your um, ranks and missing out. You could be not hitting your 500 PRV and not being paid on your team. These are all really important things. And as you recruit, you want to understand because you're bringing all these new people into this company. And if you don't understand the compensation plan and the way it works, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to help these people. I'm not saying it's going to be impossible. You know, your heart's still going to be there to want to help them, but Knowledge is power. So it's really important that you understand um, your business. You know what? I didn't read my starter guide when I started. Don't tell anybody. I didn't read it at all. I didn't watch the DVD. They used to send this little DVD. I don't know. I, it's still sealed to this day, my DVD. I never, ever um, planned it as a business. And I think when I hit annual mentor at, like, I don't know, the few month mark being in, I pulled out my starter guide because my SSD said, oh my god, you hit annual mentor and like you've been a consultant for like a few months, like you might, you know, you might want to look that up because you get this much per so many, you know, consultants and them certifying and it's like $30 per certified consultant after 14 people and she's like, you're at like 40 something, I don't know, like they have certified and I was like, are you kidding me? Like what? I never even knew about this and she's like, Cass, um, 
did you read your starter guide? And I was like a consultant for a while. I was already a superstar consultant. I was like, um, no, but I'm going to go read it now because I obviously need to know what these programs are so I can hit more of them. I had read it right before I hit director. My seventh month I hit director. I had a team of 27. I hadn't read it. I didn't, you know, know what it was all about. And now I'm very strongly saying to read that starter guide because I don't know how much further I could have succeeded in the beginning had I known what I was even trying to shoot for. I just really want to share the opportunity with everybody. So if you're not sharing it with everybody, you need to be. Um, another couple things I wrote down were... So we did talk about the scrolling of Facebook for status updates and reaching out to people um, based on their status updates if they hate their job or they're bored or they need extra income, you know, or you see them doing lots of different things with their kids. You can reach out like that um, and offer to them, you know, how fun this business is with having kids and doing it together. There's lots of different ways on Facebook you can be reaching out. Now, we talked about your boosted business page. You do need to have a business page. You do need to be, you know, even if you're only spending $5, say, a month boosting one post, and that's all you can do right now, do that. Get those likes. You know, add those people. Um, invite them to like your page, but also add them to Facebook. Um one thing I haven't touched down on that's really, really, really important to recruiting is building relationships. So, um, and by building relationships, I don't just mean um, making friends with people and keeping in contact. I mean like really strong relationships. Like every morning I wake up and everybody on my page that's got a happy birthday, as soon as Facebook tells me, you know, I saw Heidi doing this before and I thought if Heidi can sit there and wish everybody a happy birthday every day that her Facebook tells her it's their birthday, then I can definitely add that to my agenda. You know, and I don't, it's not like a planned out thing. It's just when Facebook tells me, it doesn't tell me even every day, but anytime it tells me whether it's day or night and I see those, I just click on, you know, quick and even copy and paste if you don't have much time and happy birthday, happy birthday girl, have a good day, happy birthday, happy birthday. And I also watch when people's kids are sick and when things are happening in their life. And you know, when I comment, I'm not just going to like or be put the sad face. Um, most of your emotions that you're clicking on people's statuses aren't being seen. So if that's how you feel like you're engaging with people, um, stop because it's a waste of time. When I get that notification, it says like, um, let's use Amber I just clicked on. So like Amber and like 78 other people like this post. And I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Like, I'm glad that Amber and 78 other people liked it. But like, I'm not clicking and finding out who the 78 people are. I'm not. And I promise you most people aren't. So engage, be the one person, be the difference and comment on that status and say something nice. And here's what's going to happen from it. People are going to remember you. People are going to want to see why is this girl always so happy? Why is she always saying such nice things? You know, she's always engaging on people's Facebooks. They're going to see it on their homepage and they're going to want to be part of what you're doing. What is this girl doing that's making her happy? I want to do it too. I want to become better friends with this girl. She seems really happy and nice and content in her life and positive and blah, blah, blah. Sorry, my hand's getting sore. Um, and through that, you're going to start to build a relationship. And you're not going to do it just so you can try to recruit them, but you're going to do it because you, you're just a really good person. And that's going to be your sole reason for everything you do in this business, and it's going to pay off. Um, with my teammates, I'm always running reports, and I'm always watching where they're at. So we talked about recruiting, but obviously retention is really important too. You need to be, um, if you don't know how to run a report, of course, ask your sponsor or your director um, or your SSD, and they'll break it down. It's pretty easy. Click the performance tab, click view, um, click, what is it, view download report? I don't know. I just click these buttons now. And then when you run that report, it's going to have everybody, you know, everything across the top and everybody's names. You're going to click. GWV button, or you're going to click PRV button, or you're going to click whatever you want twice, and it's going to roll up your highest people. And you're going to want to check this at least three, four times a month to see who is getting close to promotion, and you're going to want to reach out. And not just during trip earning time. You know, not just, we don't get the frontline promotions anymore, but I used to hear from people, well, I do that during trip earning time because, you know, I'm getting frontline promotion points. No, do this all the time. What are you talking about? You're only going to work your business during a time you're going to get points for it. You need to be, isn't money worth more, you know, than the trip? You can go on these trips with your money. So think about it as, you know, um, when I first started my business, there was a saying in it, I'm going to probably butcher it. It was something like, you can have everything you want in life as long as you help enough people get what they want. I think it's by Zig. Zig Zagler, again, going to butcher it. But if you look it up, it's something like that. 
And I totally applied that in my business. It didn't just matter if it was people on my team. I was just, you know, of course, I can't help people for hours on end, but it just takes a moment to sometimes, you know, answer someone or to help them um, or to just, you know, be a good person in this business, whether it's a teammate, a customer, whatever. And I just started helping people for the sake of wanting them to be, you know, leaders and wanting them to promote, wanting them to do well. And that's what's going to get your people to stick on your team. So retention's huge. Of course, um, reinstatement's really important too, bringing people back. If you do not have um, like some sort of planner where you're keeping track of new consultants and uh, past consultants and even customers, then you should have something where even on the fence people that you just refer back to this notebook. So my notebook looks something like this. So it says name, it's got their name, and it says last time we spoke, and it's got a date, and then after that it says, um, so it used to say excuse because I just feel like they always have an excuse and I want to remember what it is. And I think now it says reason because I'm like, what if anybody sees this book and I want them to like feel like I'm being mean, but like it usually is an excuse, right? So um, reason and then um, I keep those columns open and then this way every few weeks I can touch in and I can say something like, Hey, Sarah, I remember last time we spoke, um, you said that you were waiting for your next paycheck and I want to just touch in and see if... This week was the week you take the leap, you know, are you ready? And then if Sarah said, no, I can't, it has to be next Friday, I'm going to most definitely write down next Friday next to her name, and I'm going to touch in on next Friday. So it's really important. The follow-up is huge to checking in. And most of the time, if you don't check in, those those contacts go cold. So if you're not checking in, you need to be, and the follow-up plan to recruiting is massive to your success. I promise you're going to see huge results with doing this. Um, when I started doing this, I even since have gotten like a printed copy of doing this. I used to just write it really sloppy. Now I have a printed copy and I'm always, always every, every week even checking. And when you miss it, you've missed it. You know, um, in Canada, a lot of the girls get a baby bonus and I hear I'm going to join a baby bonus. And if I don't even message them by like that morning, if I message them like by midday, they're like, oh, sorry, girl, like I already spent my baby bonus. It's not happening this month, probably next month. You miss their, your opportunity. You want to write them the day before that day that they've said it and say something like I am so excited tomorrow is the big day you know or are we still on for tomorrow I'm so excited for you to start your journey you know it's been a long time coming you're going to be in time for the 10th the next paycheck period this is awesome here's my link let me know if you have any questions the follow-up system is huge if you're not doing it, I promise you, you need to be doing that um so let's think another way I tell my girls to recruit is job fairs do you guys have job fairs in um wherever you are job fairs yeah so i'm getting some hearts so i think yeah so if you have job fairs ask to sign up um to do the job fair set up a little booth and talk to these people now they're not just there looking for jobs they're there looking for opportunities so you can give out packets have your possibility packets ready if you do not have job fairs don't stress this set up you know at a regular events bigger centers yes okay awesome so you can type in job fairs um, online and in your area. I'm sure they'll come up. And then you can sign up for these job fairs. Um, and you're going to be there just talking about the opportunity. You're going to talk about how it's changed your life. You're going to talk about, you know, working from home. That it's not technically like a business you're going to hire them for, but they're just really hiring themselves. Leave the idea with them. Some people at first are going to be like, what? Like they're not really going to understand the concept. That's why you're going to have possibility packets. Um, if you don't have, hold on. If you don't have done up cards of yourself that look like this, you should have something like this. So I'm going to talk about what I do with these. I don't know how long we've been on, but let's see. I'm probably boring you guys. Oh, it doesn't even tell me. Okay, so um, what I use these for, and I didn't make them to about a year ago maybe, or a year and a half. It says, thinking about joining, it's got my contact info. The back's got a little bit about my story, you probably can't read it, and it's got an open space on purpose. So what I do with this is when I'm at a restaurant and I get really good service, this is the first thing I do, and I get to know the waitress, I will write her name on the back and it will say, Jessica, you are amazing at customer service. It doesn't always say the same thing, but it's going to be something like this. And I say, um, I had such a great time at dinner and I, and it, I just feel that you're really connected with your customers. Have you ever considered doing something like Sensi? Have you heard of Sensi? Would you like to chat? 
something, you know, whatever. And I sign the bottom and I say, and if you're too shy to chat, why don't you text me? And then I put my number and I leave it with a scent circle, usually on top of a possibility packet. And again, this isn't going to be cold calling. You're not going to do this with dear waitress. If you didn't get to know your waitress during dinner, do not do it. Um, you're just wasting your materials. You do need to have a little bit of a connection to leave something so you don't freak her out. Okay. So this can be done through, I don't know if you guys have Vistaprint or if they ship to where you are. But if you have other printers, and Scott, I'll read you a little bit. So it says, with joining Sensi, I have made many amazing friendships, built an amazing international team. I'm able to be home with my family and have had my husband leave his job permanently. Within my first year, I was one of the top 100 trip earners, earned a trip to Greece, blah, 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 all the trips I earned. I'm not going to name them all. Just name a few. Sensi provides my family and I lifestyle freedom. We are blessed because we choose Sensi. Again, it doesn't need to be a huge story. If your story is smaller than that, write a smaller version. You don't need to focus so much on that. This is the side you really need to focus on. This is personal. This is connecting with them. There needs to be an open spot where you can personally write them a little letter otherwise this feels like a spam dough um i don't know what are those like publishers clearinghouse crap they send the mail that's what that's going to feel like if it does not have a personal touch from you so if you have these and you don't have a personal touch consider that consider um revamping or editing them and doing that another thing we started doing I'm sure i'm boring you guys i'm gonna wrap it up um is welcome to the team cards that look like this so we've got some pictures of our family i want people to connect with us when they join again i've got a little bit about our story on the back here a little bit more elaborate because this, this is to a team and i want them to know that i work hard too um and then their address on here and the reason why i started doing postcards like this is because i wanted them to know about our family and that that is the reason we do this that it isn't just all about business, okay? So if you are a leader or even you're working to be a leader, start doing welcome to the teams. It's cool. You don't have to be a director to do them. Your director is probably still going to send them, but you send them too. Um, we encourage anybody even star and above to start doing that. That's your team. Connect with them. So you know what? I should ask if you guys have questions before I go. I know Scott was saying at the end... I can see the post. I can write. Okay, whatever. I can I can just answer it too. If you have questions for me or something I've said that didn't completely make sense, please feel free to drop it below so I can help answer it. Hold on. I'm still here. I knocked over stuff. Okay. No? No questions? Come on. Someone wrote down something. Ask me something. Sometimes it's like delayed, so maybe you guys are writing. Oh, thanks, Amy. Thanks, Bianca. You're welcome. And obviously, feel free if you guys don't have me on Facebook to add me to Facebook. You can steal anything I post. I'm sure Scott and Alexandra feel the same way. Steal anything you know they're posting. Of course, personalize it. You know, um, what's funny is people from our team sometimes steal our posts and they don't read them. So, um, sometimes I add like Ali's name or I say Aaliyah or whatever. And like they were posting our post. It was so funny. So it was like one girl posted and she was like, Ali just, and at the end of it said, Ali just loves this sense. One of his favorite scents. And I was like, Hey girl, um, you like left it where it's my husband's name. So you might want to change that up. So definitely read what you're copy and pasting and, or even snagging from people and change that below. Thanks. You've given me heaps of ideas and things to think about. Awesome. Yay. So, yeah, feel free to add me through Facebook. If you don't want to add me, you can follow me. However, um, of course, don't write things right on my post. If there's something you want to ask, please um, do an inbox. Just caught the last stream. Is there a way I can watch it? Yes. I've only just signed just signed up. Yay, congrats. Um, yes, when this video is all done, I'm going to post it to the page, and you'll be able to click and restart it. Um and pause it and, and come back. You can do half a time. You know what? I have a really, really small attention span when it comes to watching calls. So what I do is I just watch like half of it or while I'm getting ready, I let it play because you don't have to look, you know, at the person necessarily. And then I just get ready and I listen to it or um, I'll be like just doing my makeup and I'll listen and feel free to do that and go back halfway to if I bored you. How did you start your thinking joining group? What did you post on before you even started adding people to it? Okay, Bianca, super easy. Do it tonight, please. 
inbox me after this and say, Cass, I've done it. You know, it's going to take you about two minutes. You're going to make it. It's going to be called, so you're thinking of joining, or it's going to be like, so you think that you want to join Sensi, whatever. You're going to just make it. And then as you have these on the fence people, you're going to ask them, you're just going to say, hey girl, so I have a thinking of joining group. Did you want to be part of it? I know you've been kind of inquiring about joining and I do post a lot of info in there. Things you're going to post are, you're going to talk about the compensation plan. You're going to talk about upcoming trips. You're going to talk about join promos. You're going to talk about what's in the kit. Sorry, I'm going quick. I feel like I'm boring you guys. Um, you're going to talk about your journey so far, your why, how much fun you're having, how awesome it is. Um, it's just going to be kind of like when you inbox these people, different things. Same concept, even new products, new new catalog. You're going to talk about, oh my God, check out these warmers. You're going to want to be a consultant before March launches. February's enhanced kit month. There's going to, and the reason why it's different than your own page is because the people that are in there are getting a notification to check what you're saying. Um, and you're bringing them in there. And when you put it on your own page, what ends up happening a lot is it gets missed and gets shuffled through on Facebook and they're just not going to see it. And, and the people that need to see it are not going to see it. Um, thanks for the tips. This is all new to me. Just signed up to say, oh, yay, congrats, Amber. I have a joining group with quite a few people. Lots sitting on fa fence. Just can't get them to jump. Ideas. So, um, yes, some ideas. So, you're going to want to inbox them right now. Um, each person, use a copy and paste a message. Just go right through that whole group membership. Each one, inbox and say, Hey girl, we're coming to the end of February. I just want to touch base with you. This this kit's this month, the kit is worth three to four times what the joint price is. I just want to make sure um, that you aren't going to miss out. Or you can just say something like, hey girl, I know that you're still sitting on the fence about joining. Do you have any questions for me? Because I really was hoping that you got in this month and got the supersized kit. Um, things like... When you make it, okay, so this is going to sound weird. When you make it about them, it has so much more potential of being, uh, like, valuable to them than when you make it about you. So if you say things like, um, I want you to know if you still want to join my team. I wanted to see if you were going to jump on and join now. I'm really excited to have you on my team. Those are always me, me, me. And when you make it about them, whether it's a customer or someone joining or even someone thinking about it, it becomes so much more important. Um, valuable to them because you're talking about them you're really trying to get them to do something amazing in their life and it's it just shows that you care you actually you know genuinely care so when you're when you're whether you're doing sales or you're trying to recruit or you're trying to build relationships make it about them and make it a lot less about you and watch how things change um, so I see a lot of people post about just joining me or joining my team Again, a little simple post can be cute like that where it says, I need two more people to join my team this month. Who has been sitting on the fence or who's it going to be? Stuff like that's different. But when you inbox them, make it about whatever the best deal is, you know, whatever's going on. So this month is the enhanced kit, so that's important to put in there. You're welcome. So any more questions before I go? I still thought you guys would have so many questions. I don't know why. I know I went over lots and everybody's just like, okay, Cass, it's getting late wrap it up okay you know what i'm gonna go you guys can still comment here i'm gonna get the notification regardless and i can text and answer um right on the thread and this way anybody who watches it later can see all the posts and if they have questions they can comment too so it was so awesome spending some time with you guys i don't even know how long i don't even know how long it went it's not showing me on my phone so i hope you guys found some value in the the live call i guess we call it a call <laughs> um and feel free to add me to facebook so it was awesome talking to you guys. Bye, guys.